Hey Guru Nation, I wanted to do this quick video because I wanted to talk about, you know, a lot of people have been saying, well, what do you mean by small is the new big? That seems kind of vague. How can I get an internship? I'm going to explain it in this video. Short, keep it short, sweet, and to the point. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you don't know what to comment, just put robot emojis in there. Help shatter the algorithm. So, think of yourself as a small research site owner. And I know it's hard because you've you're not and you don't have experience with it but try to watch some of my videos I got tons of videos for sites sites care about three or four things really primarily how to get more studies how to network with more clinicians how to get more patients and how to brand themselves on social media now small sites need to do all that and they're aware of all those things but they don't have time or resources to do all those things properly all at the same time and so what they do if they even have time for this is they'll pick and choose their battles at certain stages of their sites existence so this month we're gonna work on finding clinicians next month studies they really need this is suboptimal they really need all these things going on all the time now I know you want to be a coordinator or a CRA or a project manager or whatever and the temptation is for you to go apply to UCLA Harvard Johns Hopkins those places could care less about bringing on research naive people what those people want are task doers and task doers by definition need to have some experience because they need to provide immediate ROI return on investment so if you don't have research experience well, first of all, I'm going to do shameless plug for my CRA and CRC Academy. We'll give you during the internship for my CRA or CRC Academy real industry experience. Uh, but you can get that on your own, too. It's just harder. We set it all up for you in my academy, so you don't have to go through all this. Um, but if you want to go about it the freeway, figure out those four things, and you don't even need to do all of them. Just figure out one or two that you can do for free for sites. So networking with other clinicians use LinkedIn I mean you're gonna need to use LinkedIn anyways to develop your own career why don't you use LinkedIn uh, to find clinicians or coordinators for sites in your area I mean maybe become like a headhunter like for sub buys for nurse practitioners for other PIs for the site. Sites always need to expand therapeutically or geographically or just add to their capabilities in-house. Every site right now in 2021 is short of staff. So if you can get good on LinkedIn and network with other coordinators and say, look, you're a coordinator working for this site. Did you know that this site's interested? So you can go tell the sites, hey, I'm a headhunter. I can bring clinicians. I use LinkedIn. This is what I do. I'll do it for you for free. In exchange, I just want to be able to shadow some of your studies and put some of these studies on my resume. That's one way to go about it, just using LinkedIn. Another way is to get studies for sites. So go talk to the sites in your area that you want to intern at. This is why small is the new big. This is why you got to go small research clinic. Talk to them and say, what kind of studies do you want? I can go on clinicaltrials.gov because I watched this guy on YouTube named Dan Sfera, and he taught me how to at least approach study leads. So at least get you to the point where the sponsor might be interested in sending you a CDA and a feasibility. I'll do that all for you for free. In exchange, I just want to be shadowing your, your studies and putting the studies on my resume, etc. That's another way to do it. You go on clinicaltrials.gov, you could watch my video. You gotta understand, you get this is where you gotta do the work. You gotta understand what sites need and how sites need to do it. Luckily for you, I got videos on that. So find out how to use clinicaltrials.gov to get studies for sites. Another thing is finding patients or at least building the brand for the sites. The two go hand in hand. So setting up a Facebook page, an Instagram page, a TikTok page for the sites, posting Craigslist ads for patients for the site. You can go tell the sites. You will do all this for free and manage it for them in exchange for letting you shadow their studies, getting experience on your resume, etc. I guarantee you, if you approach 20 sites, two or three of them will say, sure, go ahead. Probably more in this environment are going to say, go ahead and do it. Let's see what you got. And this is where your value should shine through 
And this is where if you do this for like three months with a few sites, one of them is going to offer you a full-time position. Almost guaranteed if you are good at what you do or you at least put in effort. So that's it in a nutshell. It's a lot of work. If you don't want to do all that work, this is why people join CRA, CRC Academy. We'll guarantee you the internship experience. If you want to save some money, this is what you got to do. Good luck, Guru Nation. Take care.